Oh, hey guys, thanks for meeting me today. Of course. We're looking forward to showing you the property. I can't wait. So how'd you guys end up in real estate? Well, I was originally working in finance, but I got a little tired of sitting at a desk all day, every day. So I got my real estate license, rented about 50 apartments, and then joined the major leagues at Douglas Elm. Devin? Comes naturally to me. It's in my blood. What's one thing you hope never changes? New York City yellow cabs. How about a trend you hope comes back? The drive-in movie theater. What's the most impressive thing you know how to do? Ask Ariel. Ariel? I would say that completing the sales of about $75 million worth of real estate in less than two years is a pretty good skill of his. Very sweet of you to say. It was 80. What risks to you are worth taking? All creative risks are worth taking. When you're following your gut. So where are we headed to today? We're headed to 1055 Park Avenue to see a duplex which encompasses the complete fourth and fifth floor of what is known as the Glass Slipper. Wow, I love this. So much light. Pretty incredible, right? I'll say. So what is it you guys love about Element? We are surrounded by industry juggernauts. Take our manager, Yuval Greenblatt, for example. He's overseen $1 billion worth of sales every year for the last eight years. Element feels like family. They support us, they support our creativity, and they are the most powerful brand in real estate today. Ariel, show them the fourth floor. I'll see ya. I'll meet you guys upstairs. Sounds good. Ariel, what's a guilty pleasure you have? I eat pizza a lot more often than I should. This is New York. Okay, what's the best advice you've ever received? Well, my father always told me that when you're honest in business, the universe rewards you. What's the most impressive thing you know how to do? I would say that I taught myself how to create videos. I created over 120 films for our clients and for our business. Oh wow, what's your greatest inspiration? Well, I rely on Devin to inspire me, especially when the going gets tough. He reminds me to always remain patient and to remain grateful. What makes you smile the most? My beautiful wife, Deborah. What's your favorite room in your own home? Definitely the kitchen, and that'll always be the most important element for me when I come to find my own home. By the way, would you like an espresso? This machine is amazing. Sure, thanks. I'll meet you upstairs. Come on up. You've got to check out this master suite. Be right there. Do you remember your first deal? I'll never forget it. It's how our partnership first started. Ariel represented the seller, I represented the buyer. The rest is history. Oh wow. What do you spend most of your time thinking about these days? Am I hydrating? What's your most nostalgic memory from New York? Growing up in Manhattan, it's all one large memory. Whether it's going to the Trevor Day School, to trips in kindergarten to the Guggenheim, or getting lost when I was six years old in Chinatown. What could you give a 40 minute presentation on with absolutely no prep? the price of property. What are you looking forward to? When I no longer have to prove myself to anybody, I'm getting very close. If you could make one rule that everyone had to follow, what would it be? Everyone would have to be kind to somebody working in a job that they wouldn't want to do themselves, even when they're not being nice to you. What's something you know now that you didn't know then? All will be well. Coffee for you, sir. Thanks so much. So guys, can you share a piece of advice for new agents? If you're complaining more than you are enjoying the journey, change your journey. We do a really good job at making this business look easy and fun, but what you put in is what you get out. So work hard and find your creative edge. Thanks for showing me around, guys. I love the apartment. I love the neighborhood. I'm sold. What's the price? Make us an offer. What do you say?